Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dave Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Thursday the 12th of April 2018 and the time has just gone 11.40 BST, British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Bring Crude Oil to the Cash Market. We start off by looking at the weekly chart to begin with and as we can, as we can see, uh, since early since June since January 2016, the oil market has been in recovery mode, and yesterday it hit a level not seen since late since, since November 2014. This was on the back of the news that Saudi Arabia intercepted a couple of missiles that came from Yemen, and the concerns, uh, the heightened tensions in the Middle East, prompt the traders to be fearful about the future oil, oil supplies, and that's why that's what drove Brent crude oil to its highest level in a number of years. And if we look at the, the weekly chart of the last number of years, and actually if we, if we superimpose the, and we use the tool, the Fibonacci retracement indicator, which can be found here under draw tools, and it's this, this one here uh, beside ABC, uh, what, what, we, what we can see is that going from the highs of 2014 to the lows of 2016, the Fibonacci retracement shows that the market has actually recruited just over 50% uh, of, of that downward move. So the market has, has recovered more than just over 50% of, of, the, of the ground loss between the highs of, tw of, uh, of 2014 and the lows of 2016. This is a bullish indicator. It's suggesting the market is, 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 a, is recovering ground and we could look to push on higher from here potentially. I take a look now at the market on a daily chart. And this dotted line you can see along here is a 50% retracement level, which we're still just about holding above. And if you look at the price action over the last number of months, it's been a classic example of an upward trend, higher highs and higher lows. Granted, we had a decent sell-off in February, but given that the, the previous seven or eight months was quite bullish, we did manage to continue the wider upward trend. So as the market was pushing higher here, uh, particularly in the, in the middle of March, we can see that being confirmed by a distinct increase in the MACD indicator. The, the momentum is clearly with the buyers, which confirmed the upward move. If we do manage to push on higher from here, we could be looking at targeting 76.10, a level not seen since late 2014. And if we go beyond that, the next big level to keep an eye out for will be the psychologically important $80 per barrel. If you do manage to drift lower, though, because we've, we've had such a long history of, uh, in, in recent months and years of the market pushing higher, we could see some fresh buyers enter the fold. So even if we do drift down to, say, 70, $71 region or perhaps the $69 region where, where we've seen some, some consolidation, we could see fresh buyers enter the fold, possibly even down as low as this area here where the 50-day moving average is nearly converging with the 100-day moving average. And that comes into play in around 66.90. So given that we have such a long history recently of an upward trend, um, any kind of move to the downside, even if you have a deep retracement, we could see uh, uh, bargain unders enter the fold. We don't need to be worried about the market fully turning over on itself if you take off the February lows, which come into play in around the 62 area. If you, t if you, if you go south of 62, that would create a fresh low for 2018, and it could point to further losses. And if you go south of 62, it could take us back to the psychologically important $60 per barrel. Well, that, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.